Now, this is one of my favorite, if not my favorite singers here. And it's most important that she from Jersey and I live in Jersey that I got to give her her due. The late, great Whitney Houston. Of course, she had great iconic songs. Of course, the one from The Bodyguard with her and uh, Kevin Cosner, of course. Um, Saving All My Love. I Want to Dance With Somebody. And, of course, the one with Shaka Khan. But my favorite song for Whitney Houston, underrated song, Heartbreak Hotel. The Heartbreak Hotel one with the one with Faith Evans. I love the beat, the singing. All three of them, Kelly Price, all three of them singing together. That is an underrated song. Like the beat, and with those three, Whitney and Faith, cool, Lord. Whitney, love her. I mean, love her music. In my opinion, I think singing, love her voice, man. I, I think she's like the greatest singer, in my opinion. But anyway, whoever wants to go first. Favorite Whitney Houston song? Uh, before I go, I would like to say this. Not only was she one of the greatest singers of all time, the greatest national anthem in Super Bowl. Oh, yes. Amen, brother. Easily. Had the greatest national anthem performance in Super Bowl history. Um... I will say this, man. This one's for you, Ma. This one's for you. Because I heard you sing this song when Wait Until Excel came out. Oh, yes. And, um, shoot, shoot, shoot. And she and yes. I used to hear my movie. mom sing that all the time when that movie came out. And, man, I mean, they even made jokes about it on the Jamie Foxx show. When he was when they was in the prison with dude, he said, Excel, and, you, you know, he was in there with uh, Michael Clark Duncan. He said, "Not X here." He said, "All right, now <laughs> shoot, shoot, shoot." You know, definitely not popular. <laughs> that world, man. So, shout out to mom. This one's for you. Uh, I don't know if you're watching or not, but hey, "Excel" by Whitney Houston was arguably my favorite song, simply because when "Waiting to Excel" came out, my mom used to sing that all the time. When she was around us, man, to the point my father got tired of it and threw the CD out. <laughs> but, but that's another story for another day. But that and that was comical too. She was like, "Hell, I would have been tired of me singing it too." But I mean, simply based off the fact that him, my mother, sang that song so much, I have to go with uh, XL, man. And like I said, Whitney Houston, greatest national anthem in history of the Super Bowl, man. Rest in peace to the all-time great, man. Rest in peace. Grant. You know, Whitney Houston is actually one of my favorite artists. I don't really take it a lot because right now, you know, I, I don't I haven't listened to her music as much because with the Kendrick Lamar and Drake beef, I have been intrigued by that whole pull one one. Uh really quick, Drake. If it was in my opinion, this is time for you to pull the alarm, man. You can't let this man slide on you and disrespect like this, but that is neither here nor there. My my first, I think one of my personal favorites from that album, from her old, it's an old one. It's one of the first songs she put out from, I think it was like 1987. Didn't we almost have it all? It's an old single that she had. I don't know why, but it's just like the old versions of Whitney Houston, in my personal opinion, are the better, are some of the best versions of Whitney that are out. It's uh, It's a small single. It's got Shock Me with Jermaine Jackson on it. I just, I don't know why. I just, I listen to that every time when it's just like, when it's just, it's just such a beautiful, it's two songs on there and that's it. But it's so simple and it's so beautiful to listen to her voice and, you know, God rest her soul. She died too young. And uh, man, again, I agree with you a thousand percent chat. One of the best national anthems I've ever heard in my life. If you ever, I'm not, if you, that national anthem make grown men shed a tear. Let's just keep it honest. She has such a beautiful voice, but man, Whitney Houston is one of the greatest artists of all. Uh, one of the greatest artists that I've seen, and I wish I could have been around to hear more of her music. But man, she was such a great artist. But 
Yeah, that's probably one of my favorite songs, in my opinion. But all right, BRF. Yes, sir. I can. De I definitely. I would love to take this topic because uh, I remember if Michael Jackson for me is the goat entertainer. Whitney Houston is the GOAT as far as the singing voice. I think she has the greatest singing voice in the history of music. I mean, I, 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 Mariah Carey does make a case, but I'm, with, for me, it's Whitney Houston just with the, just the, I mean, it's just like, it was effortless for her. Like, just her ability to be able to carry notes and just, you know, the passion and just the power in her singing voice it was I, it's matched just matched by really none in my opinion my favorite whitney song and there's nothing nothing not oh my god i love that song so much i can sit and listen to that song 50 times a day just if if there for me if there's a, ever such thing as a perfect song, I don't want to by Whitney Houston. That song is so goddamn beautiful. <laughs> it really is. That is one of the most beautiful songs I have ever heard from the beginning to the end. That song is sheer perfection. I just, I love every bit. I love every bit about that song. That is by far my favorite Whitney Houston song. Like, just, I mean, it's like, I mean, and okay, I will end the limit. I mean, don't get me wrong. I think her greatest song in terms of like from a mainstream perspective is probably I will and, and I will always love you. That's probably her greatest mainstream song. Another yes. song for me that slept on was another song that slept on for me was like was kind of like the late run she had was like it's not right but it's okay. That like was another that's another good love. song too. My love is your love. I do too. Yeah, I like I did like that one too. The late run she had. She had some she had a lot of good songs that kind of late nineties, early two thousands run. She had a she had some she had some bangers. I mean we can't deny that, but it's I it's I don't it's for me is I don't wanna for me no other song touches that in terms of just sheer the way she performed it. That's my favorite. Hey, it's so good that they remade it on TikTok. Duh. And also, too, uh, what I look, there was also one song, though, I, I still listen to her and Bobby when Bobby, Bobby Brown, of course, when Bobby did the album Something in Common. I, I did kind of yeah. like that song. If you actually take the time to actually listen to that song, that's actually a good track. But Heartbreak Hotel, man. Like, like, like Whitney, people, uh, people forget Princess Whitney from the streets. Don't be surprised, folks. Whitney from the seas, Whitney from East Orange, Newark, New Jersey, and just listening to her sing. I think didn't she came from like a church background and stuff like that? But to listen to her vocal, it's mm -hmm. like, oh my God! And champ, I forgot. How can I forget the national anthem? Her voice is like, oh my goodness! It's like listening. It's like an angel just singing. It, it, it's like, mm -hmm. my God, her her voice is breathtaking. PSP, that national anthem is so historic that ESPN has an E60 strictly on that on that performance. Mm -hmm. That is the only ESPN performance. Like that is the only performance by any artist, and I've seen them all. I've seen nearly, I've seen Prince, I've seen so many people perform at the Super Bowl. But that is the only performance that has an E60 on it because it was so memorable. Not to mention, you know, I hate to bring this up, what was happening during the time, you know. You know, we was doing, it was in golf. You know, we was doing the golf war, first golf war. So, you know, mm -hmm. for her to sing that as beautiful as she did, not only that, for the helicopters and everybody to have on red, white, and blue in the flags. That was something, not to mention, you know, people will break this up, but, you know, for her to have her face facing her team, the New York Giants. I think we lost, did we lose him? I think we lost him. 
Damn it, he was. It was people were coming for you. Oh no, now we got him. Now we got him. Go ahead, Chad. I'm sorry, you were lagging a little bit, but go ahead, man. Oh my bad. Uh, I don't think people will ever forget that national anthem. I don't care who sings it. You could put, I mean, you could bring back as many people as you would like to try to top that one. And this was, look, that Super Bowl came on when I was three years old. Let me say it again. That Super Bowl came on when I was three years old. I ain't no young dude. So almost 34 years later, that Super Bowl performance of Whitney Houston, as far as the national anthem is concerned, is still the top singing of the national anthem of all time. And I've seen many people sing it, but it will never be as big as Whitney Houston. Man, look, shout out to the great Whitney Houston, man. Rest in peace. My mother used to love, my mother still loves her music to this day. So shout out to Whitney Houston, all time great, man. Paved the way for many singers, man. Absolutely.